Now everyone, we, we will uh, finish our last experiment of our trainings. It is about uh, the OBS lab. And uh, wait a moment. And uh, you'll find that uh, the, the experiment will be much easier just because uh, it is not the traditional uh, square level like we used. The, it's just uh, you will find that uh, in this experiment, the, the scribe is just uh, uh, much easier than just uh, we used in uh, in the previous experiment. And uh, if you uh, if you uh, if you have uh, uh, learned in our lessons, you will find that for different devices, the OPS can just uh, use different ways. For example, if this device it supports the RESTful APIs, you can use the RESTful APIs to finish the OPS the functions. But if it's not support, you can just use the function that provide by Huawei. So you find that in our experiment, we still use the switch. And for this series switch, it doesn't support the OPS, uh, it doesn't support the RESTful. So how to uh, finish the requirement of the OPS? We just uh, use the functions that are provided by Huawei. And uh, for these functions, you can, for the method that all the modules are spot by the device, I mean, which method can be spot for this device, you can check it on the product document, for example. So, for this series switches, you can find that we have the configurations and in the uh, uh, CLR based configurations, you can find the, you can find the OPS functions, OPS functions, and uh, you will find that we will have a OPS API list, all right? And, uh, and uh, we have a uh, appendix, it is the, which pen standard libraries will be supported by this device. So you can find that it does the support is a module that we can use it to construct the HTTP packet. So for this device, it's impossible to use the RESTful APIs. And this device itself also doesn't support the RESTful APIs. So we just use, we just use the OPS API that provide by this device. You can find that for this device, we have the uh, we have the uh, we have we have two ways. We have two ways. We have two type of the APIs. One we call it the one type we call it uh, the uh, scription uh, processing functions. Another one it is the it is the, uh, wait a moment, it should be, it is, it, another one, it is the working, work process functions. It means uh, for this scribe, it will use this function, this type of functions, we call it as a scription process functions. And it will monitor the specific uh, behavior of the device. And if the device, if it meets the conditions that the scribe monitor, and then it will trigger the worker process fake uh, functions and then the functions, uh, these functions will be run. So just uh, like, uh, let's uh, look what we do in this experiment. In this experiment, uh, we, will, we, will, uh, we will write two scribe on the PCs and uh, we'll upload uh, it to the switches. And then we will install the scribe on the switches and then we just execute and verify the scribe, all right? The first thing is when you configure uh, the IP address and the FTP functions on the switches so that we can upload the uh, scribe uh, to the device, all right? And uh, the IP address we have already finished it. And uh, now we need to open the FTP functions on this switch, all right? For the access one, And then we need to configure our users and this users can be used to log into this device, all right? And
And now we have already can create a user and this user can be used to log into his device. And what is next? The next is we need to compare the parent scribe and upload it to the service, uh, upload it to the switches. And you can find that in this PC, the PC1, we have already finished the two scribe. One is link, link down and another is link up. And what, what is the use for? You can find that for this scribe link up, it will try to monitor one link if this link is, uh, is up. And uh, you'll find that we will, we will uh, monitor the, we will monitor the, uh, the trap, uh, the, uh, the trap information. And if we uh, capture the trap information, I mean the specific trap information, we will ex execute the, these functions. And inside these functions, we will try to, we will try to create a VLAN and uh, add an interface to this VLAN and then we will create, uh, create a VLAN info and configure the IP address. And at last, we will create a static routers and the next hop will be configured. So you can find that it's just uh, we monitor some conditions and if we capture the conditions, we will execute some command. And all these things can be uh, can be finished by the functions that provide uh, uh, by Huawei, and you can find that it is just a uh, simple. And uh, for all the functions, uh, you can just uh, refer the OPS API list, and you 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 will know how to write the function. And now, just like let us upload the scribe to this device. Now we have already logged in and we just use the put this pen to upload the scribe. And uh, upload another scribe. Now we have already uploaded it to this device and uh, let's check if it have already been exist in the device. Now you can find that we have already the link up py this file and it should have another the link down in py and what is next? The next is we need to install the file we need to install it in. and uh, now, now let's install them and uh, what is next the next is we need to add the ops functions and uh, we need to uh, just register the to scribe. And you can find that it says the scribe is installed successfully. So what it means, it means uh, uh, the device have already checked this scribe and it doesn't find any errors in this scribe. And for this scribe, the result is the same. And so we can just use this command, display OPS assistant current, to check the conditions and the status about the two scribe. You find that for these two scribe, the state is ready and the conditions is trapped. What it means? It means the monitor condition for this scribe, for the two scribe, the conditions is tribe. It means they will condition the tribe information that is generated by this device. So now just look at what, which, which tribe information it, uh, uh, it uh, monitors. You can find that for this scribe, you can find that 
it is the it is it is a uh, scribe it is, I have the uh, I have a comment it is chat scribe is a trap generated when this interface goes down all right and you can find that that is the complete trap information it is a log it is a trap log all right okay now just let's to generate the trap information we just need to enable this interface uh, forcibly, all right? Just use this command, loop back internals to let this interface to go uh, goes up. Now you can find that this interface have already go up and uh, this device have already generated so many informations and for one tribe informations should be included for example for example so for wait a moment the trap informations trap informations trap informations trap informations it should be this travel information, and then you can find that we have a uh, log information. It is in this place. The configurations have already been changed, and the username is the link hub in py. It means this scribe have already uh, executed the execute the. It have already executed the uh, the work processing functions, and you can find that inside it, we just. Uh, try to execute some command all right we will we will uh, we will create uh, the willan willan 10 and we will create we will add this, this interface into willan 10 and we'll create willan if configure the pitch choice and configure static routers now we can check the configurations on this device you can find that we have already created the willan And uh, we have a willing if, and this willing if have already configured its IP address. And then now let's check the static router. You can find that we have already configured static routers. And uh, now let's just uh, uh, bring this interface to done. Now this interface is, uh, goes down and uh, let's check uh, the log information and you have already, you can find that this info, this configurations, you can find that the, root, the, uh, the configurations have already been changed and the username is linked down to py. You can find that now we don't have the static routers and uh, we short don't have the willing if interface willing if willing if ten in the same time. Now we don't have the interface. So that is the OPS. So you can find that what is OPS for? OPS just can do uh, automatic uh, daily meeting, uh, uh, daily, daily uh, operations and meetings. For example, you can use the OPS scriper to just the monitor some conditions and if it meets the conditions, it can do some things. For example, the, the backup routers, all right? It can, you can use the, uh, this OPS functions to monitor the main link is, is conditions. If it goes down, you can just uh, let another, you can just uh, add another uh, routers, all right? That is what OPS user for. And uh, now we have already finished all the experiment about uh, our, to come lab guide and uh, thank you and uh, then the join this uh, to join will give you another lesson